On July 30th of 2015, the sequel to the much-beloved mobile game Angry Birds was released, and Angry Birds 2 accumulated upwards of 230 million players at its peak. And not once have I ever stopped to think, what, what, the, what is going on in this world and franchise? It's popular, but is there a story here? Well, thankfully, Chopo has the answer for us here today. We have the bizarre law of Angry Birds. Chopo does a lot of absolutely fantastic law related videos, as well as some other stuff. We watched the Plants vs. Zombies one recently, and now we're delving into the wonderful world of Angry Birds. Since its start, Angry Birds has remained an iconic series that only seems to grow more and more popular. However, the story within it seems to have accidentally become one of the most insane and unexpected expected things you could ever imagine. No, they did the Pepsi advert in the Angry Birds world. That's <laughs> that's so good. If you don't know, this is a reference to a Pepsi ad. I think one of the Jennas was in this, right? Oh yeah, one of the Jennas was in it and there's a riot or there's like a protest going on and Kendall Jenner is like, oh no, let me solve the problem. Here, have a Pepsi. <laughs> now, now we're actually best friends. Look, see, everybody likes each other again. So join me as I go over everything that makes this adventure a memorable one. Hi, okay. everybody. Yeah, I'm here in a monastery high up in the mountains. This wow, that's... Do you get good Wi-Fi up there? Here, I'm spring cleaning these bad vibes right out of myself. I'm... Well, you even have space chimps down there. You got space chimps in the bottom right. That's pretty Convinced cool. Convinced learning the ways of the monk and chilling out might just give me some cool magic wizard powers. If this okay. weirdo with a goatee's to trust, I don't know. I haven't seen Doctor Strange in like four years. No, I would never trust anyone with a goatee. I would never, I would never, although I do wish I could grow one. I mean, that'd be, it would be kind of nice. In contrast to my ways of finding inner peace, today's topic of aggressive avians in their conquest to slay some green pigs is a simple one. But also, uh, not really. Angry Birds takes place in, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, yeah, <laughs> what, what? Let's begin at the dawn of time, when atoms were the only things in the universe. Or, I guess atoms are kind of like the only thing. Everything's made of atoms, right? Is a, is a proton an atom? I haven't, I haven't checked it. Is a proton an atom? Like a lot of things, it seems like Angry Birds has a multiverse. I don't know why so many things have them, but I promise this one's stupidly important for no- Okay, this is, you know what? It's just because everyone nowadays wants to have multiverse. It's like Marvel wants to have it, DC wants to have it. It's like the current day version. All right, it's fallen out of favor now, I think, a little bit. But it's the current day version or the last few years ago version of zombies. Everyone wanted to have zombies at one point. Now, where's the zombies gone? Not many much zombies going around anymore. But multiverses, they're everywhere. For good yet extensively explained reason. See is that dual? Wait, is that dual lingo? Oh my god, that is dual lingo. Don't worry. I, 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 I did my lesson. I did my lesson. Konnichiwa, arigato gozaimasu. Doga omimasu. See, Rovio, the company behind Angry Birds, thought it would be a cool and creative and awesome idea to make a multiverse. And one day in 2022, they showed it off with this picture, I think. Oh no, look at this. Wow. Oh god, why is one ripped? <laughs> what is going on with this one? The ripped guy. Wow. Do these all look the same? Then there's just absolute Chad. I don't know. It was on the wiki. It might be outdated also, but it really doesn't matter. With this at least attempted to be official, it means that every official Angry Birds entry or piece of media is canon to an extent with either an established universe or its no. own one. And I no, they had a Transformers crossover. Oh, of course they had. Haven't. Everyone's gonna have a Transformers uh, crossover. Everyone's gonna do the Autobots. Everyone's gonna say roll out. I mean, it works because they roll because they're heads. They're not really. They don't even have wings, so they have. They have to roll. You think about it it's a perfect crossover opportunity Hate doing this but now the goal is to cut up each respective universe and explain how they might connect we oh boy here we go joy. well i don't feel very joyous oh it I... says yeah it says <laughs> we craft joy what a way to advertise your company i hate myself okay well that's not hey listen I, you, I think you're great. After extensive research across literally hundreds of entries, I was able to confirm at least five major universes worth talking about. Starting with December 11th, 2009, Universe 1, the classic universe. This is traditional Angry Birds. It's the most popular, it has the most stuff within it, and it's easily the best one to start with. Taking place on the areas like Piggy Island on a version of Earth that's confirmed to have humans, the birdies have the eggs, the piggies want- There are humans in this world? I guess someone had to have made the castles, right? I mean, they don't have- have hands. The pigs don't even have hands either. How do they even steal the eggs when they have nane hands? The, eggs, the piggies steal the eggs, the birdies get the eggs back, massive ongoing more, the pigs are moderately incompetent, and the birds sure are angry. 
Why do the pigs want the eggs? Don't they eat, like, they eat from the trough? Oh, but what's in the trough? Across all the universes, there's a pretty consistent group of birds that return time and time again. And their personalities usually say the same, so we're just gonna go over the main flock as they're known, and save the rest for later, if or when they matter more. Even then, most of these guys aren't too important. Red's the angry bird. He's most committed to the bit. That's the main character. Chuck? Red is the angriest one. At least it seems Chuck's that way. Chuck's fast and impulsive. Bomb's kind of... This is not really an angry bird. Bomb doesn't seem very angry. Consistent, though he's usually a dumb funny man. The blues are this trio of typically kind of annoying children. Terrence is a war criminal. That's not a bit. He belongs in a supermax prison. Matilda shoots explosive eggs. When I was a child, I thought woman birds couldn't get angry for most of my life. I thought this was a man. That's my bad. Stella's the Whoa, other- Oh, oh, what? You thought that they couldn't get angry? They didn't have the capability? Girl. Not to be mistaken with the other girl or the other, other, other girl. Those ones don't matter. Hal doesn't really have any gimmick other than being a boomerang how why do you look like that and bubbles likes candy he's okay this bubble seems like an entirely different universe bubble seems like it does not belong here at all also able to turn into a balloon he's also orange he's my favorite now again there's still a few more birds for example terrence has this cousin named tony from finland i think joe is cool and it's from kind of Finland's? a bummer that it's a great place to be from. Nothing gets done with them. There's also this one named Silver who does nothing, not to be confused with this different one named Silver, who is relevant in another universe. They definitely got from this from Sonic, right? Silver, the hedgehog, Silver, the Silver Bird. That it has to be. It's, it's got to be. But the mighty eagle? Yeah, he's here, I guess. When it comes Ooh. to content, this is by far the easiest time to analyze what the skills of the main two species are. The birds live simple lives. They strive for peace and prosperity. The pigs think that's the most untubular gunk imaginable, so instead they act on instinct. A majority of them are intelligent, but not smart. There's a difference, they have a difference, and their universal species-wide craftsmanship skills best prove this. In Okay, to be fair though, they're doing a really good job for those that don't have hands. Virtually all Angry Birds content, they will remain like this. The exceptions of top of the line pigs are few and far in between, but they still exist. For example, the chef pig is most prominently shown in the Angry Birds tune. Before you ask, there's hundreds of these tunes, and just like a lot of this franchise- There's hundreds of them? How is that possible? How can there be hundreds? I think maybe- Oh, there's a few. Uh, didn't they make a movie about this? There's hundreds? Seems like way too many. What are all, What is all this? Are these all games? As this does not matter. The chef pig is a natural leader of operations. He's actually not too bad at being evil and often tries to steal the eggs. The king pig though? Oh no, that guy sucks at eating babies. This is King Smooth Cheeks Pig, better known as just the King Pig. He is the prime example of how flawed the pigs are as a species. The only way the pigs can tell he's a superior pig is through the crown. They follow the creature of highest status. It's like the penguins with those rocks, I guess. I don't know, I can't think of a good comparison. Penguins follow penguins with the rocks? That's so cool. I mean, we do the same thing, except instead of following pe penguins with rocks, we follow people. With paper, we look up to the richest among us, as if they are the smartest and most intelligent, when really they have just acquired the most of a certain material. Hmm, interesting, isn't it? Here for this one. Why is the King Pig the King Pig, by the way? Well, supposedly in most iterations, he got it from his dad, King Mudbeard. We don't actually see him in the classic universe, but honestly, I would just assume it's a pig with a big old bushy beard. They can grow facial hair, and this is a nepotism baby. In terms of classic, it was really hard to find, like, anything of value. I went through everything, and I really do mean it. And this portion of the Angry Birds is just a thing that has an what endless is... loop of conflict. I Is this the- was it the first Angry Birds? I looked through the cartoons, I looked through each variant of the game, and I even went through all the short-lived comics, and almost everything was about getting those same three eggs in some sort of unique way. Sometimes Bomb gets a shockwave ability, sometimes they use special Ooh. disguises to sneak around. Currently, the classic game is partially on an indefinite hiatus, in part from Red's Mighty Feathers, the latest chapter of the first game not getting fully finished. Hell what is th there's so much here well, the comics don't even have that much i mean it all looks good it's nice on the eyes except for hal's wildly inconsistent design hal why do you look like that but truthfully <laughs> it's just an old-fashioned race war that happens within children's media suspiciously too often that yeah mm, yeah you're, you're picking up some good points that there. is of course with one exception out of everything that could have gotten some sort of wacky hijinks why did stella get the most shit stella goes on a brief yet because Stella is girl. Yep, th there, there you have it. Needed extended vacation that lasts from 2014 to 2016, where she goes to this place called Golden Island with a stellar bird population of five. 
solid. I mean, what more can you need? You need you need yourself. You need a mate. You need the funny guy. You need the one that holds it all together. And you need someone to set it all up. I mean, that's really at five. That's all you need. Now, there's a chance that this event specifically happened before Stella met Red or any of the other games happened, but I wouldn't know. When one of your mascots a triangle, anything is possible. Anyway, on this island, there's Dahlia, Poppy, Willow, and Luca. I'm sure they're happy to be here, and they look vaguely like my old co-workers at my old job. No one okay, to be fair, the art on this is very good, though. I'm surprised that the art is so well done for this, although I shouldn't be. I, they have so much money, and they can pay artists. You should, you should pay your artists, by the way. Fortunately, they're all slingshot fodder in the long run. The only one that does matter is Gale. Originally, she was best pals with Stella, but Greed did agree, and now they aren't that. Gale found the one crown, so by pig logic, she's the queen. In season one, everyone else will just be having a good time until Gale exists non-consensually and then causes problems. This would ask It's non-consensually existing? Sorry. Hey, I didn't choose to be born into this world. I didn't- I didn't give my consent for this. This paying taxes deal. This having to take care of myself. What's all that about? Relate to Gale trying to find the golden egg and struggling until they're caught in a near active volcano. Gale apologizes for being a dictator and almost killing Stella, and Stella's way too forgiving. Stella barely makes it out, but then Gale. Gets yeah, no, I feel like that would definitely ruin, ruin my friendship if my friends that I thought was like chill and cool got me trapped in an active volcano and almost melted into a little puddle. That's gonna be causing some issues. I don't know if we can work that one out. That one's uh. Maybe we should just see different friend groups kind of situation. It's greedy. She tries to go for this golden egg and she dies. What? For like three days. Because in oh, season oh, okay. two of this spin-off of this universe, of this multiverse, of this franchise, she survives and they become friends again. Until the pigs come back and we're back in the Hello? loop. Time isn't even a circle in this world. It's just a smaller circle. This season does see Gale finding the golden egg. It has a Midas touch ability when colliding with any object and getting tapped by it again ungoldifies the gold. But the trade off. But you have to pick it up though. Oh, do the birds just have telepathic powers? Te tele telepathic powers? That just allows them to hover things? So you don't even have to hold on to something. Ah, you know what? That would work really good for the egg. Off is that more life on Golden Island dies based on the amount of gold. I'm sure you're shocked what comes next. Eventually, the Golden Standard leads to a famine, and Gale invites everyone to a dinner party, but- A famine? There's like five people here. Oh, I'm sorry, did they did they go from 10 bananas to five? Stella declines, and so Gale starts killing everyone. Until that doesn't happen, <laughs> Stella Christ. and friends win the fight with their friendship forever being in limbo. Like, there was never a continuation on this. We actually don't know what happens next. May well, may also, why would you even need gold if you're on an island like this anyway? What are you gonna do? Trade it? Trade it to who? There's like five birds there. Who are you gonna give it to? The guy that you saw down the street? The guy that you talk to all the time? He hasn't got any fucking money. What's he gonna do with your gold? Maybe we can check out the games. All oh, right. This series is owned by Rovio. They're horrible at having things continue, but they aren't horrible at netting collabs. As mentioned before, the can- Oh, Iron Maiden Angry Buds? Uh, that's kind of sick, though. Let's be honest. That's kind of sick. of Angry Birds exists on a version of Earth where a whole bunch of real-world things exist. Plus, Popeye! Ew. Smurfs? Ah, uh, well, Smurfs are kind of cool, actually. Ah, uh, I dig Smurfs. Some less real stuff. The Smurfs exist, the birds fight for McDonald's, they get Coca-Cola, they get Starburst, they get pistachios, and- they get stop. Oh, they get stop us. That's kind of nice. They even save all the birds in Rio based on the 2011 hit film Rio. One time, the pigs are found stealing Cheetos, so the birds join forces with Chester the Cheetah. The voices in my head are getting louder, but they don't become Transformers. That's its own universe, but the angry birds. No, 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 wait, that's its own universe? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that's great. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to get on. To oh, that's going to be a good birds one to get on to. Transformer comics are canon to this universe, not the actual Angry Birds Transformers, so it's canon. Wait, okay, this is making this confusing. The Angry Birds Transformers comics are not canon to the Angry Birds Transformers universe, but the Angry Birds Transformers comics are canon to the classic universe, not the Transformers universe. Just in case you were a little confused, hope I cleared that up for you. Canon, but it also isn't. This comic has all the characters getting exposed to a second magical egg that turns them all into Transformers. They're doing Transformer battles over three eggs. The pigs could easily buy this at an ordinary human grocery store. You are flawed and you are unloved! But Okay, well, yeah, they are stupid. They are not smart, but they are intelligent, but they're not Hold smart. On. Sonic is not canon. In Angry Birds what? Epic, the game trailer literally said- Why even bother? This series sucks. Why- that Sonic's not canon? It all started a long time ago, in a world that was completely made up. 
It's not real. Sonic's not a wizard. The Duolingo bird is fine. They're friends. I know one of you. They're friends, dude. The Duolingo bud, a little scary sometimes. A little creepy. A little scary with it. You, you get you get to you get to 10 p.m. and you haven't done your Nihongo lesson yet. Lesson yet and oh, it's it's not looking good for you. It's not. You hear a knock at the door. You hear the you hear that Duolingo bud pop up on your phone, and you hear the you hear the knock again. It's not, it's not looking good for you, bud. You are scratching your oversized chin and going, oh, what about Angry Birds Star Wars? Oh, good. I'm glad that this exists. <laughs> oh, well, at least they did the original trilogy. That's the main thing that matters. Well, that's actually connected to March 22nd, 2012. Universe 2, this space universe. Why is All Angry right. Birds space its own universe? I don't know. Rovio just said so in that one image. I know based on some of my comics, some of you stupid children are gonna say nah uh about this situation. Uh, by the way, guys, all of your favorite YouTubers are in this giant group chat where they all make fun of the bad comments you guys leave. We all make- Yeah, that's- that's so true. I'm- I'm- I'm in the group chat. Me and Markiplier, we talk all- me and Jacksepticeye, we have- so- he's such a funny guy. You should- you should see it, but you- I mean, you can't join because you're not, like, cool enough. But me- yeah, me and Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, and- and Chopo, we all- we all make fun of you. <clears throat> oh, look, I just got a notification from it now. You probably didn't hear. I had my phone on silent. Fun of you. So, uh, I'm gonna nuh uh, your nuh uh, it's its own thingy. I don't give a ha he -de ha. I don't know how to do that. Angry Birds Star Wars is a retelling of classic Star Wars with birds and only kind of. I'm not gonna go on concise detail as a result. So, if you wanna learn about Angry Birds Star Wars, try any of these things out. My argument. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Oh, so it's just the same thing. It's literally just the same thing. I will never get over the fact that the episode 9 of Star Wars was so bad. Episode 8 was like not great, but it could have been salvaged. Episode 9 is probably one of the most disappointed I've ever been in a movie. But you know what? It did look very nice. The sound design and the visuals were very good. My argument is that the laser bird cameos in the teaser trailer, and therefore they are in the same universe. They're both in space, basically the same thing. It's almost like they're in the same series or something. Oh, who's, who said that? This story starts off like classic Angry Birds with the main flock dicking around in their nest with the eggs. Suddenly, an ice cube falls from the sky. This is Ice Cube Bird. I don't know if he has an actual name. He's cubic and he's from space. Ice Bird jumps up and protects the third magical egg, the Eggsteroid. No way to go around it. They're just some magic egg rocks. They're important enough to create wormholes over. Oh no! And then the three classic eggs get captured. They're probably stillborn at this point. Time to go to- Yeah, they're in space? Dude, those eggs are cooked. Well, actually, they wouldn't be. It's very cold in space. Space. Then this one happens. It's about simply unexisting the piggies, this time off of Earth, and getting the most important egg-shaped stuff back to those feathered freaks. Uh, do we ever think that maybe we are the baddies? Why don't they have a trade deal? So in comparison- I guess there wouldn't really be a trade deal. That'd be like offering up our children to the gorillas in exchange for not having to kill the gorillas. You know, maybe that's not a good idea. Listen, not as much going on besides the ice cubes, but overall, still its own little neat thing with the ending possibly seeing the birds return to normalcy after making it home. I'm sure there's still gonna be some confusion regarding the why classic and space are separate continuities, and I might just have an answer to that. So you see... Dude, I don't fucking know this angry bird. Next is April 3rd. Oh, okay. No, I, I I get it now. 2015, Universe 3, Super Angry Birds. Super Angry Birds? <gasps> oh, they- Yeah, oh my god, no! <laughs> oh, <laughs> what have they done? What a disaster this is. Oh, goodness me. They really, they really drew this. Wow. And they got some, like, they, again, they got some good artists to do this as well. It's uh, impressive what they did. <laughs> This is a world where avians and swine have evolved at the same rate as primates, meaning that the modern day's dominant species populations include humans alongside bird people and pig people. Red, Chuck, Bomb, and Terrence have taken their- Oh, why are they naked, man? Why even harder when he changes into his alter ego, Chaser? But he's just naked. This isn't a cock clock kent situation. He didn't just take his glasses off. Oh my god, he's Superman. He took every single article of clothing off and now his- you can just see it all. Oh, actually, he left his glasses on! He took everything else off! What's wrong with him? Their mantles as superheroes. His story takes place mostly in New York City, and the backstory here is absolutely nuts. Wait, was that real? New York City? That's not real, right? Matilda and the Mighty Eagle used to be a couple, and everybody loved them. They were local celebrities. Until the Great Depression puts everything to shit. So out of desperation, the public elects Mayor Hogg, and he puts all the pigs into positions of powers. Like Smooth Cheeks is the king pig, for example. You get that? These two are on the same scale. So now Angry Birds have- 
course, I can't believe that in a desperate situation, people would elect a very obviously corrupt and narcissistic person to lead them. I don't want that crazy. People would turn to the worst possible people to lead them in times of troubles. I don't understand. What? No. As a corrupt government. Great. Now issue one's simple enough. The gang is trying to avoid their hideout of Matilda's greenhouse being found out as pigs trying. Okay, if there's a Great Depression, then how are they so ripped? Where are they getting the protein from? And force the Mighty Eagle and his newspaper publication to dox the birds. And that ends up flopping. The gang's able to easily trick the pigs, which is then followed by the rawest shot I've ever seen in anything. Next- That's an- That's really that cool. Mimeo attempts to force another Great Depression by creating the egg standard, where one egg equates to one dollar. Now- Okay, that feels like in the Great Depression times, one egg being one dollar, that's a lot of money. That's a ton of money. In fact, even to this day, a dollar for an egg is a lot. Now for them, that might be a good thing, but just imagine for a second what that would mean to us. It means that this is $12 plus tax. I'm genuinely astounded. The pigs in charge intentionally put this in and are using fraudulent money. And somehow, Red is able to identify the problem. Figure why are they- why are they naked? Well, counterfeit money is being used. Stop it. De-escalate a city-scale economic crisis. All of that within, like, six hours? In general, the pigs are downright terrible here. They blow up a rabbit's bakery in issue 3. I guess there's bunny people now. The big robot curse stomps the hero. Then they have a rematch to win. And the baker from the beginning gets the robot's corpse. This is just... Angry? This is Angry Birds! What is happening? Then the Blues, who are like these newspaper kids here, they stumble upon Scylla. She has this nice singing voice that could easily- Oh no, they made it- why- oh, is it? the lyrics are- Why oh why does a girl love a bad, bad man? I don't know, maybe cause he's cool. Maybe cause he makes you think, damn. What could we do? You make her famous. She's choosing not to, though, because all the nightclubs are being owned by the pigs. So the super gang does their classic and make everything not be bad. Old Wait, so they're just, they just beat everyone up? They just beat up the pigs because they own the clubs? I feel like that's maybe a little racist? Only for Kingpin to become a fan of Stella. And that's it. That's how, that's how, that's how this ends. Nothing else. Four issues. This was genuine peak. They canceled it. Yeah, this is- what, why did they cancel it? I guess it doesn't really appeal to the kids that are playing Angry Birds. They just want to do a little thing in their mobile phone. They're not really reading superhero comic books where the birds are actually ripped to the gills. Do you know how much the Angry Birds people cancel stuff? It's a bad habit. It's their day drinking. I thought this was funny. I thought this was kind of cool. The idea of a slightly serious rendition of these characters is incredible. It's like the last five minutes of Chicken Little. I wish they did more of this. It was awesome. And you know what? The monkey paw heard from my request because they have limbs again. May 20th, 2016. Oh no. Oh, they don't look right with limbs. They really don't In look. Universe 4. Like the they have limbs. Angry Birds. Oh no, the movies. Yeah, why did? Oh god, yeah. I never saw the Angry Birds movie. Is there anyone out there? Did you guys? Was it a popular thing? It made three hundred and fifty-two million at the box office when its budget was seventy-three. Damn, damn, that is ludicrous. Okay. This has two theatrical movies that are semi-faithful. Personality-wise, I'd say the best any of these characters are. Everyone sounds like how I'd expect them to talk. The voice actor lineup here is Bananas. We oh, whoa, 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 wow. They did have a lineup here. They had Peter Dinklage. They had Ben Hader. I feel like I'm going to say some of these names wrong. Anthony Padilla was in this? No, the fucking Smosh guy? What? What's happening? What is going on here? As we got Olaf as himself, that one guy from The Voice, and probably some other stuff. For Hal and Bubbles, they just got Ian and Anthony from Smosh. <laughs> that's, that's actually really sick, to be fair. I, I would be super... I would do it, even if I didn't see the movie. I would be totally down to voice an angry bird. That'd be so these fun. These movies ruin these characters for me. Whenever I think of Hal, I think about him lodged in a tree. And especially Ian McSmosh. He really became Bubbles the Bird. My favorite person from Smosh named Ian really understands what it meant to be an angry bird. Anyway, these movies most prominently take place on Bird Island. Rather than the usual of a small flock where Red's the de facto leader, this is the opposite. Red's a loser and he lives on the beach alone. He has no friends and stuff. He nearly destroys a baby. For context, the birds are basically just advanced quokas, quack, quackas, quack and ball torch. There's so whoa, whoa, what's the whole car? I was not expecting There's that. There's no natural predators or problems, and as a result, all the couples leave their babies on the porches. After accidentally almost ending the life of a second child, Red is forced into Matilda's anger management classes. There's no prison here, and there's also two other birds who don't deserve to be here, along with, again, genuine war criminal. Never confirmed what Terrence did. He might be one of the horsemen. The pigs show up instead of this gelatinous freak. We're faced with Leonard, probably the most successful leader of the pigs. If you remember way back at the start, I 
This dude looks like a goofy idiot, but as we know, looks can be defeat, deceive, befeeving. <laughs> Look can be befeeving. Don't watch out. Always think about it. Said King Smooth Cheeks' father was Mudbeard. Uh, Leonard has a beard and is probably muddy. His full name is Leonard Mudbeard. That's probably enough for me. This thing's a father. He hasn't left his family yet on account of the fact they don't exist yet. But when that family does exist... What in God's name is that bird on the left? Seriously, I... I what is that? That's a... That's a creature that I is. I wouldn't be shocked if he left just like all the other King Mudbeards across the universe. To be fair, I'd be upset if my child looked like this. Leonard destroys Red's home and nobody cares. They have an awful criminal rehab program. The main trio all find Peter Dinklage, the mighty eagle, in after drinking piss, having mental breakdowns, and dreaming about whatever is going on here in Chuck's deranged- Oh, they just can't help themselves. They have to make ripped birds. They have no self-control whatsoever. Oh, we're going to make an Angry Birds property? Okay, but one of them has to be chiseled, though. One of them's got to have massive pecs and abs. And ooh, those biceps, though. Those biceps got to be nice and big, too. This little triangle brain, they are able to do it. Only to realize the mighty eagle guy named Ethan the Eagle, he he sucks. He, he genuinely is a bad person. He's fallen off. He, he, I'm miffed. So then he all the eggs off. get stolen, that's nothing new. Red says everyone's dipshits besides him and they all agree. So now they sail to Piggy Kingdom with the giant slingshots the pigs introduced to them like 30 minutes ago. And Dude, they're just going to war? Oh my days, they're just gonna go war. Back. And somehow, after a massive invasion and battle across the kingdom, using themselves as ammunition, one where Bubbles hard carries during a point where Hal's basically useless, and one where Terrence falls harder than your mom falling down the stairs, all eggs are successfully retrieved with not a single one being destroyed somehow. The I mean, I do like how they worked in the gameplay features into the movie. They, I mean, they had to do it at some point, but it seems like they did it in a pretty good Pigs way. Pigs lose. Leonard somehow doesn't die to this. Oh, look. Red saved the, the one egg that had the blues in them. That oh, that definitely looked like they were dead, though. I mean, it's cracked. It is smashed open. It is a good thing that that egg was ready to hatch because if not, they were. They're so dead. They're dead. Definitely That's dead. the origin of the blues, I guess. Red has successfully been recognized as a hero. His Does that mean he gets the kids or are there other blue birds? Because I haven't seen one Helm's yet. rebuilt. Everyone likes him now. But now he has started a cold war between the Bird Island and Picky Kingdom. This war lasts about three years because now it's August 2nd, 2019. Lots of stuff happened off screen. Matilda and Terrence have settled down with different jobs. Red is... Oh, oh, they settled... Wait, they have... Terrence has a kid now? Oh, I'm I'm sure he's a very nice dad. I'm sure he's I'm sure he's a very nice dad. I hope he doesn't come into my house right now. He's very nice and he's good, like he's good at bothering and so he, he reads a newspaper like no one else can. He's still an angry bird. Bomb's gotten deeply passionate about eating dirt and bubbles. Has a different art style for some reason. Bubbles is missing. Wait, what? Bubbles is not physically in Angry Birds 2. Hal's here, and he's still voiced by Anthony McSmosh, but I'm serious. He doesn't exist anymore. Why? Aww. Well, did they kill Ian Smosh? We don't actually have confirmation about anything, but if I were to guess, there's two options. Either one, Ian just couldn't top his performance in the first movie, or... Which, to be fair, I'm sure it was very or good. two, what I would assume with my foolish child brain in middle school when, when this came out, God, Anthony left Smosh in 2017. And as a result, only one of them could come back and play their iconic character with two lines. So that... I mean, that was a wouldn't really be the case if they left on good terms, which I'm pretty sure they left. Didn't they leave on good terms? Like, obviously, it wasn't the best because they'd been together for so long and then they'd gone their separate ways. But not to the point where they couldn't be in the same movie. It's not like they have to voice act in the same room. They come in at different days and still do their thing. That's why one of them got axed off screen. That also, why does the person that leaves Smosh get axed rather than the person that's still at Smosh? Hmm. That's why I believe the Angry Birds the movie universe no longer has bubbles with us. But hey, that's just a theory. <laughs> oh god, I, I miss him so much. It's like I can still hear his voice. Oh god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, is he taking over for Matt? <laughs> <laughs> a bird theory. One day, a mysterious ice cube falls from the sky. <gasps> no, not the cool ice cube, just the one from Eagle Island. There's a new eagle named Zeta, or Zeta, I'm gonna say one or the other, you can't get mad, who's trying to force the other warmer islands to evacuate. That needs to be stopped. So the birds have Wait, the- Wait, what, what, why? What? <laughs> So that they can take over the island? Is that why? Truce with Leonard and make a high squad to infiltrate their base and take it down. This, this has nothing to do with Angry Birds. 
Who else is gonna join their mission though? Well, Mighty Eagle's back. Harry the genius pig, he's not that important. There's this thing. This is a millennial creature. This is a canon OC. It's voiced by Aquafina. I have this theory that Aquafina is like some sort of omnipotent being who can force herself into specifically animated movies as- and she seems to be doing a lot. <laughs> like semi-important side characters, but that's a rant for another time. And then we got Silver. Now at this point, Angry Birds 2 was already released, but I'm gonna assume these two just share the same names. The God, I really do not like the design of Silver. That is a, uh, oh, I don't know. I actually, no, 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 I thought, okay. I didn't like it because I thought that this was her arms, but her arms are here, but that's her hair. No, it turns out I'm just an idiot. The trapezoid one is irrelevant. Just like Red, Silver hates herself and is an angry bird. You can tell because she voluntarily chose to be an engineering major. On a speed dating thing, they mutually agree they don't like each other. Tell the rest of the movie, she's coming along anyway, since Chuck and Silver are siblings. A lot of weird family tree connections in these movies, wow. They're siblings? How? Oh, the eyebrows. Yeah, you can tell. It's the eyebrows. Oh. The gang goes on a heist to stop Eagle Island from destroying the lives of other islands. And then the mighty Eagle immediately bails. But I'm not gonna share what happens yet. He, he, but it, but it's bad. The heist goes horribly right. The parties consistently accidentally succeed in infiltrating the base. And while all of this is happening, the kid of Terrence and Matilda takes her little sibling's egg out with her friends. And they spend the entire movie almost getting this unborn child unexisted. The only reason they exist is to do like the Spider-Man train thing at the end with some kid piggies that they befriend with like super strength. <laughs> That, wow, they're so strong. How did they get so powerful? I, I zoned out. I really didn't care for this movie. Why did you create a new trio of children birds? You literally already had one of those. That's true. They had the blue ones. They really should have just stuck with the blue ones. Why did you make new characters? The Eagles have lost Zeta, and to make matters worse, Mighty Eagle tries to defuse the situation. And this is the best time to talk about how awful he is. Initially in the 1990s, at Eagle High, the Mighty Eagle and Zeta were high schoolers in a totally lovely little relationship. One day, Zeta Aww. asks him to marry. He's Aww, Zeta- Aw, Zeta proposed to him? That's cute. He says yes, therefore making her bitter forever. Oh wait! You piece of shit! You ditched her at the altar? That's the worst thing! That is the worst thing that someone can do! That's like the scientifically formulated worst thing in a relationship. I mean, I like well, murder is def murder is bad. Murder is probably worse than that. But still, you, you gather everyone together. You plan the whole wedding. You make it seem the whole time that you're gonna do it, and then you just bail? How do you even get to that conclusion? How do you arrive at that point? Oh, what a, ooh, Tyrion Lannister, what have you done this for? Holy spaghetti and shiitake mushrooms, you are awful. To make matters worse, the other little house spawn is the daughter of the two of them. What the hell, Mighty Eagle? Now there's- He's a runaway dad as well. Yeah, those guys suck. Two cases of father abandonment. Somehow though, Zeta forgives him within literally three minutes and they get married again. I- What they get- No, 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 no. This is an abusive relationship. This is toxic. This is awful. Do not marry him. Do not marry- Well, she was also like doing terrorism. I guess she, she, she was a terrorist. I, you know what? Maybe it's a match made in Guess heaven. red and silver get together and Bird Island is redesigned to have their heroes imagined into the island forever. I can see why Bubbles left now. He foresaw them trying to make Mount Rushmore that includes former baby eaters. I personally wouldn't want to have to look at this thing at all times. And that's the movies. Now, the movie verse isn't exactly done yet. We still got a couple... Uh, C couple dozen more games with these limbed friends. I'd what? best describe this time as the characters being mass produced for Chinese markets. I know it's a wild claim to put this here, but it's like they collabed with a Chinese Agario clone. Not that there's anything wrong with appealing to that. This was just a thing that did not reward old time fans. But hey, there's bad piggies too, if you if you like that. They what, what is bad piggies? They did VR, they did sports, they did gambling, they did piggy tails, piggy Oh, I'm glad they did gambling. You know, that seems like a area that they really should have hit on <laughs> too. They got the right target audience for that, right? This is a show that has four seasons. This was their attempt to do the minions, and I don't think it worked. My favorite little consequence of technology innovating at a rapid rate due to the Industrial Revolution has to be from Angry Birds Evolution. This is Angry Birds, but sick and twisted in the head. This is- What is wrong with the frame rate? Baby birds, this is badass. Now you can do with this. The man, does that does that look cool? This Angry Birds Evolutions when we blow stuff up because we're mature and we know what the mature audience wants. We're no kitty game where you can shoot things and you can blow them up and you can see the little giblets scatter across and you can see the lamentations of the women too. Plot is just about reuniting the Mighty Eagles old Angry Force team. The only things I remember is this one bird that you you should have a safe order. Dude, this is this is awful. This is terrible. 
This is the this is the worst thing that they have ever done. Without a doubt, it's not even around. Close. And this Arnold Schwarden, I'm not gonna say that word, bird, doing this to a pig. Oh, oh great. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh. This is a consistent thing throughout all the games. What is wrong with the world of Angry Birds? Bird is the word. Bird franchise. Why was Shakira here? Join the revolution. Wait, wait, is that, is that Che Guevara? Oh God, I don't know how to say his name. Che Guevara? Guevara? Oh my God. They did a communist revolution in the Angry Bird universe. Guys, why was Shakira here? Why is Shakira angry? I can see the wrath in her eyes. Why is she angrily tricking the pigs to build schools? What am I talking about? This is paying for my tuition. And that really leads us to June 15th, 2021. Universe 5, the best case scenario. This is the okay. only time where I truly believe any of these universes actually collide to a greater extent. And it's the result of another version of Red I have yet to talk about. In a more modernized version of the movie's Bird Island, Red has truly stepped back with Silver and has found a new ambition in his life as a gaming TikTok account. No! <laughs> Why do they always become influencers? Stop it! Stop it! Stop influencing! I don't know if it's hypocritical for me to say. I don't want to be considered an influencer either. I just want to make funny video. Why? Why are they like this? Oh, mommy. Smash. Oh, God. They stole the Markiplier a bit and did a smasher pat. No, no, no. This, is, this wasn't necessary. They didn't need to do this. Why? <laughs> Why? Now somehow Red has figured out how to travel into pocket dimensions created by the electronics. He does this to play Roblox IRL. Friendly reminder, he was a war hero before this. One of these times, Red meets up with the classic one and then creates Angry Birds Classic. Oh wow, a definitive way to play this beloved iconic game. Oh, never mind. The consequences of TikTok Red infecting the greater multiverse with- Oh, he's scrolling Twitter as- Oh my god. Oh my god, is that Call Me Carson? Oh, it, yep, yep, there's Call Me Carson. Oh no. With his presence does actually lead to the creation of this universe. Other than a few smaller puzzle games that don't amount to much besides a Shakira. Best case scenario, this also includes Angry Birds Reloaded. This might be the best of the best. Classic, space, and movie content all collide to make this massive package of content that includes all the main flock, the pigs. Hal even looks tolerable. The order of events go classic to movie to space this time around. Classic antics ensue until this game's equivalent of the second movie happens. And then once the movie ends, the eagles attempt to recapture Zeta. But this turns out to be a trap for the mighty eagle. Wowzers, I hate everything. Whoa! Oh God! Why? Wow! Oh no! <laughs> I don't want to see this cutscene. What's going on here? Why are they horny? Now, there's still a couple of rough patches between the birds and pigs. There's this massive communication at Thanksgiving. A few rogue pigs start writing their names on massive historic landmarks. But otherwise, the feuds of these guys have been mitigated to a more casual scale. And hey, this is a pretty cool way to celebrate everything that makes this world what it is. I might just go out and try it. Oh, wait. This is worthless. That's fine. I didn't want to look at Courtney the Aquafina pig anyway. You're going to be my paralysis demon for a while. Well, gang that's about all the angry birds she had braces for two teeth what's going on content i could find is what i'll say in about 30 seconds let's talk about okay. what to expect now angry birds as i see it has been and probably will continue to be screwed over in part just because of the actions of their creator sega recently did take the action to buy rovio so i guess sonic could be canon now the best way fine it's about time they put angry birds and sonic together the true greatest and most powerful characters. To describe this piece of our culture is as a flawed franchise with a flawed bunch of bunches in charge who are continuously making this series questionable, yet there's a loyal fan base for some reason. It's, it's Sonic. Angry Birds is going to be the next Sonic. And I mean that in the most... No, I don't think the Angry Birds could get the same audience that Sonic can. I don't think that's, I don't think that's strong enough. There's not enough story beats. There's not enough pulling everyone in. Sonic has been around for so long and the people that like Sonic... Oh, they love a Sonic. They likes. If I see a Sonic profile picture applying to me on any social media platform, I can't, I get a little scared. Derogatory way possible. It just keeps getting the short end of the stick. But who knows? Maybe in the future we can have something brighter. Maybe we can move on from being reliant on Minecraft or weird puzzle spinoffs or some Netflix show where they're in like a summer camp, I guess. Or what? Who who asked for this? Or this weird Viking RPG? What what, what is what is this for? What, what is this? What, what, what? Why are they farming? What is what? going on? Hell! Why do you look? What is, what is why are they saying? 
Mercy! Yeah. Well, gang, ah. that's all the Angry Birds content I could find. And now I sure do want to bleach my eyes out. I hope you learned something cool. I hope you don't like multiverse as much as I do. Not to be mistaken with multiverses. That one's all right. Swap this statistic around. Use my gamer sub code. All right, code. subscribe. Use his gamer subs code as well. You use code gamer subs chopo. You subscribe. Get him to 200k. That would be absolutely fantastic. Links in the description. He also has a lot of other fantastic videos that you can go and watch right now. And if you want to see more of my dumb face, you can always subscribe here as well.